Step into a world where the absurd is the new normal, where risking life for a selfie and toppling over piles of plastic are just everyday occurrences. But here's the kicker. Our smarts seem to be taking a nosedive. Curious? We're diving deep into this mind-boggling phenomenon. From TikTok antics to the startling stats on our kids' reading and math skills, Stick around for the ride as we uncover the truth behind this brain drain and what it means for our future. Buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's unravel the mystery together. They attempt to scale mountains of plastic containers, holding their breath until they pass out and ignite themselves. Tumble out of a vehicle while snapping a self-portrait, earn a Darwin Award because they aim to swipe a bottle of water and toppled a pile of packaging onto themselves. This represents just one of the numerous examples of contemporary foolishness. It's the prevailing norm. And if you perceive that everything around you has somehow deteriorated, congratulations, you're not mistaken. Humanity is entering a phase of diminished intelligence. Today, we'll delve into the disparities between our current generation and those of the 1970s and explore why migrants are only tangentially related to this phenomenon. Let's begin. The onset of this modern something is amiss commences in childhood. Educators are often the first to observe this trend. They're compelled to address alarming behaviours witnessed on platforms like TikTok. Why? Because it's one way to alert parents and draw attention to this issue. Statistics corroborate educators' concerns. Studies show that 65% of fourth grade students in America struggle with fluent reading while 67% of 8th graders still grapple with mathematical concepts. Teachers lament that students struggle to comprehend even a brief three-minute video or summarise its content when it's recounted to them. Written errors abound, partly due to the absence of autocorrect features in notebooks. Not to mention, behavioural issues have escalated beyond mere squabbles and profanities to physical violence against teachers and classmates sometimes resulting in comatose states. Consequently, many educators resign and those who can afford it turn to homeschooling. Various factors contribute to this decline in intellect. One notable factor is the internet, specifically its excessive use without adult supervision. A third of American children acquire smartphones by the age of eight, though they start utilizing them. E Media discussions surrounding children's attachment to iPads underscore this reality. These are the same youngsters who struggle to detach from their devices, incorporating them into every aspect of their lives. From meals to bedtime routines, parents find it challenging to wrest these devices away from their children, who respond with tantrums. Why do such peculiar content garner millions of views? Well, because it serves as a surrogate caregiver. Studies indicate that a third of children aged three, four express a desire to simultaneously engage with multiple electronic devices. In instances where smartphones are confiscated, children may resort to flipping through imaginary videos in the air, a reflexive response. On average, children spend a minimum of four hours daily on the internet, not including school hours, with TikTok being a primary destination. Unsurprisingly, this intimate association with iPads alters children's behaviour and cognitive abilities. Excessive screen time hampers cognitive performance and fosters internet addiction, impairing cognitive control and concentration. Moreover, children exposed to prolonged screen time exhibit delays in communication and problem-solving skills. Meanwhile, humanity's intellectual prowess has begun to decline it's imperative to halt this regression rather than exacerbate it with gadgets. During the 20th century, mankind experienced a surge in intelligence, a phenomenon known as the Flynn effect. James Flynn's research revealed a steady increase in IQ levels across developed nations since 1932, with individuals gaining three additional IQ points every decade. The Flynn effect was observed globally, transcending geographical and socio-economic boundaries. However, recent research suggests a reversal of this trend, with intelligence levels declining in some regions. For instance, the IQ of young military personnel in Finland 
decreased by two points every decade between 1997 and 2009. Similarly, American adults exhibited declines in logical reasoning, mathematical proficiency, and vocabulary from 2006 to 2018, with vocabulary witnessing the steepest decline, especially among the educated populace. Only spatial reasoning skills exhibited improvement, while logic, mathematics, and vocabulary, integral components of IQ, declined. In essence, humanity's intellectual decline has commenced, a reality acknowledged by James Flynn himself. While some may view dwindling intelligence as inconsequential, it poses significant ramifications. Intelligent individuals are more motivated, contribute positively to society, and exhibit better financial management skills. Moreover, there's a direct correlation between a nation's average IQ and its economic prosperity. Therefore, succumbing to intellectual decline portends economic impoverishment. So why, amidst advancements in technology and knowledge, are we witnessing a decline in intelligence? Numerous theories abound, although none offer definitive explanations. Dysgenics, a reverse form of eugenics, has been proposed as a contributing factor. Dysgenics posits that individuals with lower intelligence are procreating at higher rates, resulting in a decline in average intelligence over successive generations. However, empirical evidence refutes this notion, suggesting instead that intelligence declines within families regardless of migration or external factors. Furthermore, factors such as global warming and genetically modified foods are unlikely culprits for declining intelligence due to their complex nature and rapid onset. Changes in the labour market have also been implicated, with the shift towards service-oriented industries leading to fewer intellectually demanding occupations and a subsequent decline in cognitive abilities. As technology increasingly automates tasks that once required cognitive effort, individuals are deprived of opportunities to exercise their minds, exacerbating the decline in intelligence. Therefore, safeguarding humanity's intellectual potential necessitates preemptive measures to counteract this trend before it escalates further.